Hey guys, Friction Pim, and I've got a Lego haul today with a few orders from Bricklink. Uh, it's actually a few days worth of orders. Decided to just lump them all together this time. I uh, don't have as much time this week to do these in daily batches, so there are 10 packages here. They're all small, so it won't take us very long. We will open them all up and see what we got. Now, I didn't take time to look up all the stores, and I apologize for that. If the store is on the label, I will let you know what it's called. This one is not. And some of these only have a few parts in it to help me along in some projects. It looks like we've got the dark tan arms and torso. We've got dark flesh hands on that torso. Uh, dark purple legs and orange and dark pink hands. Those are for monochrome minifigures, which after I get all these opened up, I'll go ahead and start working on putting those together and showing you where we're at on that project. So this one is from Dumbo's Mother. And from Dumbo's Mother we got, open this up so there's hard to see when there are bags inside of bags, but we got some medium majeure arms. Dark flesh arms. Actually, that, yeah, I think that's dark flesh. Dark, actually, I think that's magenta or violet. I can't remember. I must be magenta because these are violet. Violet or light purple. These things are hard to tell when you don't have them next to other bricks sometimes. We got an old brown torso. And again, I think that's light purple. Uh, could be wrong. No big deal. We got four heads red, tan, old brown, and pearl gold. We got dark red arms, old brown arms, and dark. Those are the old dark gray hands. And then the last one in this package chrome silver legs. Chrome silver legs. Everybody needs a pair of chrome silver legs. This one is from, oh, I know this name. I can't, I should know the store off the top of my head as many orders as I make from this person. This one, it's pretty easy. It's a figure. I think it's a Harry, from a Harry Potter. But it pretty much has all the pieces for light bluish gray. No, light gray. And I had most of the parts for this figure. I don't remember. I think I needed the, maybe the arms and the hands. Uh, I can't remember. But I think with that, I now have all the pieces. And it was easier, cheaper, not easier. Well, and easier. Cheaper to buy the whole figure than just the couple of parts that I needed. All right. This one is also in another person's name. Do not know the store name. Package number five. Halfway done. Alrighty. We got a couple of delicious packing peanuts, this time in cotton candy flavor, right there. And with our cotton candy peanuts, we got some medium blue hands, arms, and torso with well, dark pink legs. Man, that is so close to this magenta color but it's not it's dark pink like the hands right there see how hard that is it's hard to tell these things sometimes when they're not by themselves I may have guessed it wrong but the cotton candy peanuts helped me reference that alright this one also the person's name package number six Ooh, we got a packing list with this one so I can actually tell you all of the pieces. Let's see if you can spot them here. Okay. We got bright green arms, bright green hands, bright green torso, and then we've got light, bright light orange arms, dark blue head, 
dark bluish gray head, dark brown hands, dark brown head, dark brown torso, and a dark green head. So lots of goodies from, does it say on here? Oh, sorry, I didn't list them all. There was a page two. Dark tan head, lavender, that's what that color is, lavender. Lavender torso right there. Light flesh arms, lime head, olive green arms and olive green legs. That helped a lot right there. Lot, a lot, a lot. Okay, that is what, six packages? Yep, so package number seven is from, you know what, it's from Texas, there you go. And it's not very many people, most people have their name on their PayPal account, which is where the uh, printing comes from for the labels. Alright, so in this one, we got an Ewok. I think this is one of the Ewoks that comes from the big set. The, uh, oh, the jungle forest looking set. But anyway, it had the dark bluish gray parts I want to finish that monochrome figure. And it was cheaper to buy this uh, Ewok than it was to buy just the torso. And then while I was in that store, I also picked up one of the new polar bears. Yay! My first one, a pretty nice polar bear, I like it, yes sir, I like it. Okay, package number seven, from Colorado, from Monument, Colorado, okay, inside here we got Hey, we actually got some bricks this time. Okay, well, plates, but still. We got some wedge plates in green, various sizes. A few uh, leaf elements, one random minifig head, just because I like the face pattern on that one. And a few of the umbrella stands. And the reason I went there was for the orange torso, which is incredibly expensive, unless you can find it this figure, which is like a dollar. The torso is like, you know, four or five dollars. So got that. Two left. Only two left. This one is from Ottawa, Illinois. What did we get from Ottawa? I Ottawa know, but I don't. All right, Mary. I don't understand. Oh, <laughs> trying to read the note, but uh, says the bottomless brick. Thanks. So that's what the name of the store is called. Thanks you very much for your purchases. Enjoy the Legos. Please leave feedback. Well, thank you, Bottomless Brick in Illinois. And you sent me... Whoa, I cut through the bag. Yeah, I do that sometimes. Sent me a couple of horns and white and one by two brown, reddish brown, and brick and plate. And those are for the cow I got. Hmm. Yay. So I got a cow and another harder to find part, which was, I think only in this Paradisia line could you find those dark pink, or whatever they are, I think they're dark pink, arms. Um, and they are expensive to buy alone. Uh, you know, one of the reasons why some of these things are so expensive is a lot of people don't break down figs all the way. You don't pull the arms off and sell them separately. Um, you know, but it's easier to sell a figure. But when you can get more for one arm than the whole figure, 
you know, sometimes it's worth it, but you got to spend some time and do the research. So I picked up the whole figure just so I could rip both of our arms off. And yes, that may be mean and cruel, but that's how I roll. All right, and package number 10 from The Brick House. Whose house? The Brick House. That is right. From The Brick House, we got... Oh, looks like it had a shortage. Pretty sure. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he emailed me a couple of parts I threw in to the order uh, just to have on hand for future builds. Um, and he emailed me that instead of like two, three, he only had two, or instead of two, he only had one, which is no big deal because uh, those were just add ons anyway. But uh, he credited me back and sent me an unopened Series 2 minifigure. Yay! So we will open that up here in a second. We'll look at the parts first. Uh, one of the things that he only had one of instead of two was this minifigure stretcher. Order that, which is no big deal. And I think he was short on, I don't know, what, he was short on these. I don't even know what you call those. But the store said he had three, only had two. No big whoop. I really only needed two anyway for the idea I had for those. Got three of the... Man, now I can't think of his name. Hazmat suit guy. Got three of those sprayers. Got some orange heads. Some reddish brown heads. Red torso with dark tan hands. Not sure if I needed... I think I probably needed the torso instead of the hands, but... Uh, what is that? Trans neon green, I think. Trans neon green head. Picked up another stump because I love these things. Uh, and I only have one uh, in my collection. So I picked up another one to have on hand. And lastly, I picked up some of the dark bluish gray bamboo. I don't have any of those yet. And he had, looks like, four uh, in there. And since I was making kind of a small order, I threw a few of those in. All right, and the final thing we need to do, that was package number 10, is to open and see what series minifigure we got. Who is it? It's this guy. Taco, taco, taco. Taco, taco, taco. Taco, taco Tuesday, man. With three maracas. One, dos, trace, and that is it. So lots of minifigure parts for the monochrome minifigs, which I will have a video out on those. It really depends on when this one airs, but if I stay on schedule, hopefully it'll be you know three or four days after you see this video. You will see the video on where I'm at so far with my monochrome minifigures. So that's what we got. Does that look like 10 packages worth of stuff? Probably not to you, but hey, you saw me open them. And if you didn't, rewind it and watch it again, because that actually helps me with the, and the extra views and the watch time and, and all that. So, yeah. I mean, I don't have any problems with you doing that at all. Watch it three or four times. I know it wasn't that exciting, but, you know, just to prove to yourself that, yes, that small amount of Lego came in 10 different packages. Uh, it sure did. And that's why uh, that's why it gets a little expensive to buy a few parts here and there. But it's what you have to do when you're on a project like me, making monochrome minifigures. So thanks for watching, guys. Oh, this is Friction Pen signing off. Signing off.